earlier as well. So, um, yeah, many people, I mean, hopefully more people at this point know that New York State has a 24-hour workday. Um, what it is essentially is, um, you know, there are home care workers, home attendants who are, take, you know, what they do generally is take care of um, the elderly, take care of, you know, those who are with disabilities who need aid. Um, to stay in their homes and live independently. And so they go into their homes and, you know, just help them with, you know, day-to-day -day, um, living things. Um, but, you know, there are some people who require a lot of care, right, um, who need around-the-clock care. And in New York State, how we deal with that is by, um, you know, forcing, you have agencies like Chinese American Planning Councils uh, that forces agencies, uh, forces workers to, um, do around the clock care. Um, so one worker doing the around the clock care uh, for days in a row. Um, you know, it could be a few, but sometimes we've seen workers doing even six, seven days a week. Um, so obviously this is um, extremely, um, you know, terrible conditions. How could, you can't really get worse than 24 hours. Um, you know, the workers have been speaking out for many years, six plus years. Um, they first started to speak out um, because, um, you know, actually, you know, even worse, you know, I mean, I don't want to say even worse, but, you know, not only are they uh, working 24 hours, but um, they're only paid for 12 or 13 of those hours. Um, and they say because, you know, oh, you're sleeping and such. So all these workers six, seven years ago started to come forward and say, um, you know, we're not right. These people require um, intensive care around the clock. And so, you know, they, um, uh, you know, are not sleeping at night. They're, you know, having to take care of them. Um, so it first started like that, but very quickly it became a fight to, um, you know, end the 24 hour workday completely because, you know, a lot of the workers were saying, you know, no, no amount of pay, even if they pay the night hours, it's not worth the, um, you know, the, the destruction of their health. You know, a lot of them are, um, you know, facing, um, face and continue to face a lot of, you know, um, you know, physical debilitating injuries, um, I think home care is one of the highest workforce that, um, you know, ends up face, you know, getting injured and having to, um, you know, stop working because of these injuries. Um, and so, um, you know, and, and the loss of time and, and you know, their, um, you know, time with their, their children, their families, all of these things, right? Um, it's really, you know, they say it's not, um, you know, can't be bought with money, right? And so... Um, that's what the, the, the fight against the, the 24 hour, you know, workday has been that these home care workers have been leading. Um, and I think it really does show what you're talking about before, right? The, the, you know, the racism that's even within our communities. Um, you know, you mm -hmm. have, um, Chinese American Planning Council, which is, um, I believe the nation's largest service provider for the Asian community. Um, they are out there, um, you know, in New York, um, you know, as a, you know, they say they're a very progressive organization there to serve the community. You know, I think their slogan is like advancing, advancing the community or something like that, but actually shows that, you know, they, they, um, you know, exploit their own um, community, right? The, the community that they, they say they serve, um, you know, not, you know, the workers forcing them to work 24 hours a day, um, but also those who to receive, receive the care, right? Because um, a lot mm -hmm. of people say this isn't, um, you know, um, it's, you know, how could, how could one person provide all of this care, right? It's, it's not really possible. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we, we are speaking out against the, the, um, the racism of that as well. Um, I guess like, I have two questions. Um, first, how is it, you know, like why, how is it possible that, um, these home care attendants are, uh, forced to work 24 hours a day. Is it because of a labor shortage or is it something else? Um, and the, the other question I have is, um, can you explain what exactly is the Chinese American planning council? Um, and you know what they do in the community? Is it just like a way of connecting people in Chinatown to jobs or, or like what exactly do they do? Um, CPC is like a social, I mean, like a service provider, but I actually think mm -hmm. we found in recent months, you know, since, um, you know, the, the workers have launched the boycott against them, right, and many people have come out to support it. Um, I think home care is actually one of their largest, um, you know, uh, it's like a big bulk of what they do. 
Um, so, you know, how a home care agency works is, you know, they, again, provide, they have clients, you know, that those are the people who need the care. Um, they're Medicaid recipients, and then they um, hire uh, home attendants, right, to take care of them. Um, the why the 24-hour um, exists um, or why, you know, it continues to exist, um, I mean, I really think it, it is, um, you know, um, it's it's not really about labor shortage or, or not. Um, it's, you know, mm -hmm. it's just uh, the racism and the sexism that we live mm -hmm. in in this in this society, right? Um, mm -hmm. I think there's, you know, even in a very so-called liberal place like New York, I think there's a lot of, um, you know, there is a lot of deep-seated thinking, right? That it's oh, these are immigrant women, right? They don't speak English. They, you know, don't have many skills. Even though actually home care is 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 really like uh, difficult work, um, you know, they should be thankful for whatever job they can get, right? They be, they should be thankful that yeah. they could, you know, um, you know, have any work at all. You know, you even had CPC and and certain legislators even kind of echoing this sort of uh, sentiment. But I think that's really why, right? We continue to have um, have this 24 hour that exists, even though you've had all of these women, you know, hundreds of women who have spoken out against it, you know, spoken out about how it is violence, you know, against their bodies, um, uh, you know, the, the physical and mental toll that it's taking um, on them. And, you know, yet it, it continues. Yeah, and I also want to add that the uh, uh, for a lot of the the home care workers, right? They if they refuse mm -hmm. to work twenty four hours, then the home care agency will just not assign them any yeah. shift, or just assign them like a few hours a week. Mm -hmm. So you know they got to survive, right? They got mm -hmm. to pay the rent and and take care of their children. Right, and because if it's the so choice, so it's a way for the actually for the yeah. home care. Yeah, for the home care agency to actually force them to yeah. uh, to do it. Yeah, yeah, and you know, I think you it's it's a good point. It's a it's a race issue. It's a gender issue. It's a class issue. And I I found out about this um, campaign back in May, I think. Um, and I was really surprised because you know, making people work twenty four hours that's a huge deal. Um, and I was really surprised that it wasn't getting, um, you know, as much coverage as it should. Um, because, you know, a 24 hour workday, it's a huge story and, you know, it should be much larger than it actually is. And I don't know. I feel like, and maybe I don't know how you feel about it, but I think the lack of coverage has to do with the fact, you know, the, the of, you know, it's a racism issue, that it's a racism issue, um, that this is a largely immigrant workforce. It's a largely women of color workforce. Um, and also that the reproductive labor that they do often isn't acknowledged labor at all. Um, and it's not recognized or valued as labor under capitalism. Um, so yeah, like, I don't know. What do you, do you think that has to do with it? Do you think that has largely to do with it? This lack of coverage. Yeah, I think I think that's that's very much it. And also the um, you know how how the twenty four hour right. Mm -hmm. if, if you have this kind of condition, normally like people people would would, would feel very angry and and and, and rise up right. Yeah. Especially consider in the the U.S. the labor movement. Uh, we had the eight hour day, mm -hmm. right? That's the, actually the, the slogan for, you know, the, the eight hour day actually originated, you know, from the US, right? Uh, more than a century ago, we had the, the, the labor movement, right? Fighting for the eight hour workday. And then now after more than a century, you know, we have 24 hour workdays. So actually um, the society is actually not always progressing. Mm -hmm. It's actually regressing. And uh, for people to kind of thinking that, oh, 24 hour workday and just treat it as some other issue that actually reflects like actually, actually the, the even, even among the progressive that this kind of hour, the, the kind of the, the, the exploitation, the super exploitation is, is, is treated as something that's normal. It, which is actually, actually, uh, you know, not good, mm -hmm. right? Actually, uh, and, um, you know, you have the, the CPC, right? They, they, you know, and, and, and some other, the, the home care agency, you know, in defense of the 24 hour workday, they would say, Oh, if you, if you fight against that, then you are stopping the, the, the work, some workers' rights 
to work 24 hour workdays. So they kind of kind of twist it around to say, oh, because the workers like to like to be exploited, mm -hmm. like to work all the time. You cannot stop them. Yeah. Right. Right. So that's how they would try to try to try to frame it. And uh, I mean, of course, like 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 they, it's, it's as if to say, oh, if if someone wants to be a slave, would you stop them? Mm -hmm. Would you would would you would you then not destroy the the slavery institution? Right, so it's actually very absurd. Actually, when you when we try to raise the twenty four hour workday issue to to you know talk about you know talk to some agency and 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 actually some progressive, that's a, that's the response. You know that shows that you know how much work need to be need to be done and to to raise the awareness. But you know I'm glad that there are still people who really you know uh, uh, you know feel feel very passionate you know about us ending the twenty four hour workdays. And um, I have to say that all this year actually the the movement has been growing and there are a lot of uh, a lot of new people are, are joining this to kind of uh, raise the awareness of it. Mm -hmm.